Okay, this question taken from the summative assessment in our textbook, and it is question number seven. A 50 ohm resistor is connected in series to a 40 ohm resistor. This series combination is then connected to a parallel resistor of 25 ohms, and the circuit is supplied from 90 volts DC. And we have three questions to answer. In the first question, we need to calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Now you'll notice that over here we have a series combination and that is in parallel to a 25 ohm resistor. To calculate this series combination, it will be uh, R1 plus R2. R1 is 50 ohms and R2 is 40 ohms. So therefore that series combination will be 90 ohms. Now we can go ahead and calculate the resistance total and essentially it's a parallel branch. You can use the product sum rule but I'm going to just stick to this method over here. 1 over Rs plus 1 over R3 to the power of minus 1 and that will be the resistance total for the parallel branch. So 1 over 90, um, R3 is 25 ohms to the power of minus one in order to invert the answer. You can use the product sum rule if you feel more comfortable with that. And the answer we get there is um, 19,565 ohms. Okay, next question, 7.2. Calculate the total current from the supply, nice and easy. We use uh, Ohm's law here. This pyramid helps us a lot. I is directly proportional to V, inversely proportional to R. So therefore, I total is equal to V total over R total. The total voltage, 90, over the resistance total from the previous slide is 19,565. And therefore, the total current is 4,6 amps. Try to remember that figure because we need it for the next question. Right, question 7.3, calculate the volt drop across the 50 ohm and 40 ohm resistors. So essentially what they're saying is we want to calculate V1 over here and we want to calculate uh, V2. Let me just write those formulas out. To calculate V1, it'll be uh, I1 times R1 and to calculate V2, it'll be uh, I2 multiplied by R2. Now, this branch here, the current will be the same in this branch through R1 and R2. So I1 and I2 will be the same value. And to calculate that current, we first need to calculate I3. Um, we do know what the total current is. Okay, we know what the total current is. It is uh, 4,6 amps. So let's first calculate I3. Okay, so I3 is equal to the total voltage, because it's a parallel branch, divided by the value of the resistance of 25 ohms. So you'll see the voltage across that entire branch is 90 volts, 90 divided by 25. Therefore, I3 is uh, 3,6 amps. Right, now we can actually determine the value of I1 and I2. Remember, they're exactly the same. How will we do that? We will say I total, minus I3. I total 4,6 amps and I3 3,6 amps. So therefore, in the series combination, the current there will be 1 amp. Right, now we can go ahead and substitute. So I1 is 1 amp. R1 is 50 ohms. Same thing over here. I2 is 1 amp and R2 is 40 ohms. So the volt drop across R1 is 50 volts and the volt drop across R2 is 40 volts. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video.